Hello, and welcome to another video from the Verein für Berufliche Weiterbildung's weekly tips videos. My name is Mark, and I'd like to speak to you today a little more about our theme from last video, which was pronunciation, but more specifically, how can we creatively practice pronunciation and have a little fun while we're learning about it. One way to practice is like we discussed in the last video, uh, a phrase or a text, like a paragraph in English that you can say before and after an exercise. This one, in fact, is the text as an exercise. What I'm talking about are tongue twisters. They help us to focus on not only pronunciation, but tempo, how fast we're speaking, and also can we be more accurate? Can we hit all the proper consonants and vowels to help us be clear when we speak, uh, especially if it gets a little fast or we're unsure of the way we're pronouncing something. But before we start, I'd like you to focus on a few strategies that can help you with tongue twisters. One, strengthen the tongue. Like we had last time, make sure that your tongue muscle is uh, strong, active, and uh, just before trying this exercise, it would be great if you tried to practice with the cork, like we had in our last video. Two, take your time. Tongue twisters are designed to twist the tongue so you can't speak out properly and pronounce what you're trying to say. If you take your time, slow everything down, and then step by step work your way up to speaking faster, you'll be able to keep the clarity, keep the specific pronunciation, but also slow down your learning and thought process so you have a little more time to feel comfortable with what you're saying. Number three, make as many mistakes as you can and have fun. Tongue twisters are designed to trip you up, twist the tongue, give you a hard time. But like with any learning, by making mistakes, you learn what not to do. It's a much more efficient, much more productive way of learning by being okay with making mistakes and continuing anyways. You'll get it. Here is our first tongue twister, a short but very difficult one, pronouncing TH. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. After a few times, try and speed it up and see if you can still pronounce. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. And of course, as fast as you can, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, leather, leather. Not so easy. Tongue twister number two. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. A little faster. She sells seashells by the seashore. 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 Whew. Again, don't be afraid to make a mistake. Start again and keep practicing. And finally, a Canadian variety. The woodchuck, which is very much like a beaver, is a type of groundhog. They chew and eat wood, and this action we call chucking. So, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Faster. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? And how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Whew. And don't forget that tongue twisters exist in all types of languages. So maybe you're having trouble with the tongue twisters in English. Uh, try the cork exercise we did in our last video and then speak a tongue twister in your own language or another foreign language you're learning. All right, everyone, that's it for this week's video from the weekly tips from the Verein für Berufliche Weiterbildung. Again, my name is Mark, and thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or tips or things you'd like me to explore and uh, learn with you together, please write them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Stay healthy, safe, 
and we look forward to seeing you again in the classroom soon. Bye.